Want to know how to treat dark under eye circles naturally? Keep watching. everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist, and on this channel we talk about eye health, eye surgery, kids vision, and eye makeup health. So if any of that is interesting to you, please hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you get all of the notifications from my channel. All right, let's get back into dark under eye circles. That's why you're here. This is something I suffer from as well, a lot of people do, and I'm always looking for ways that are going to minimize the darkening naturally. Now, some of this is just genetics. My father has dark under eye circles. You might have this in your family as well. A lot of pigmented individuals like myself, especially South Asians, tend to have dark under eye circles. So what can we do about it naturally? If you don't wanna get lasers or chemical peels, this is the video for you. First, what gives you dark under eye circles? Well, it's a combination of things. It's the pigment of your skin, like I mentioned before, the blood vessels that are underneath your skin combined with the thickness of your skin and the amount of fluid buildup that happens because of sleep and all of these other things that we're gonna be talking about. And that's what you visualize as darkening underneath the eyes. So the very first thing that you can do is sleep more. I know it's a lot easier said than done, but getting seven to eight hours of sleep is really beneficial, not just for your body and your circadian rhythms, but also just for the way that you look. Your skin can start to look dry and dull and dark when you don't get enough sleep. Best way to sleep is elevating your bed with a couple of pillows at night, and that's just going to make sure that the fluid is draining towards your feet instead of pooling up near your face area so that you don't wake up with swollen, dark, puffy eyes. That's not what any of us want. Second is hydration. So really basic things here, sleep and water. If you are dehydrated, if you have eaten lots of salty foods, if you have been drinking a lot of alcohol the night before, then you know that your body and your skin really wants and craves that water. And what happens is, again, that combination of the amount of fluid in that very delicate under eye area where your eyelid skin is the thinnest. So if you are really dehydrated, then the underlying blood vessels are going to be more visible because there's no fluid to kind of prevent the light rays from hitting the underlying vasculature. So staying hydrated is key. You know how much water you're supposed to drink. So if you don't do it just to keep your kidneys in good shape, then do it just because it makes you look better, just like the sleep. Third is prevention, especially if you already have some pigmentation of your skin. The best way to naturally treat your under eye circles is to not get them in the first place. And that means not just wearing sunscreen, but a full, nice wide brim hat and sunglasses when you're outside. Very large oversized sunglasses, look like a movie star. The bigger, the better, because I live in Hawaii and so I am really prone to getting a lot of periorbital hyperpigmentation when I'm outside. So you will see me basically covered, big hat, big sunglasses, that's the way that I walk around because I don't want any worsening of my under eye targeting. All right, now let's get to the actual natural treatments. We've talked a lot about prevention with hydration, sleep, uh, sun protection, but let's get to the treatments themselves. Caffeine is one of them. You can do it either topically or even if you were just drinking a lot of coffee or green tea. Caffeine is a vasoconstrictor. So what that means is that it shrinks your blood vessels down. All the under eye darkening is, is the ability to see the underlying blood vessel. If you shrink the diameter of the vessels down, then you're not seeing them as much. So that's where caffeine can temporarily help relieve under eye darkening. A lot of eye creams and eye balms will have caffeine in them, and it's good for a quick fix. You could do the tea bags. I've done a whole video on that. If you are ingesting a lot of caffeine, make sure to drink a lot of water and stay hydrated. Otherwise, you're gonna tip the balance in the other way, and if your skin's dehydrated, you're still gonna see dark circles. So I would say best bet is to use it topically. I drink a lot of coffee anyway. I'm not going to add more coffee to my diet just to get rid of the dark under eye circles. Treating allergies is another really important thing. I have very bad allergic rhinitis. That's your seasonal allergies, except since I live in Hawaii, they are year round. They aren't just for one season. And what happens when you have allergies is you get a lot of histamine release and histamine causes blood vessels 
to dilate. They're called vasodilators. And that then releases an inflammatory cascade of allergens and cytokines, and it makes everything very, very leaky. So it makes those blood vessels underneath the eyes much, much more visible. So the best way is first, if you can figure out what you are allergic to, you see your allergy doctor, you get patch tested, you get the shots if you need to. I know that's not quite natural, but can decrease your allergies in that manner. I just do a really simple thing. When I come home, I make sure I take a shower, I wash my face, I change my clothes. Because typically you're allergic to things like pollen, dust, cockroaches, all of those things that are outside. So if you can minimize the amount of allergen on yourself, that's going to help as you go throughout the night. Another thing that I do that I also recommend for my patients is to change all of your bed sheets and your linens to allergen free. So make them down alternatives as opposed to actual feathers. There's a lot of allergies related to uh, feathers. Make sure to wash your pillows as well. Did you know you can throw them in the washing machine, not just the pillowcases, but the pillows themselves. And change out any wool rugs in your uh, bedrooms into synthetic ones. If you know that you've got a lot of seasonal allergies, you want to minimize the amount of trapped allergens in your entire house. You can also put in an air purifier that really helps with decreasing the allergen load. These really simple things are very easy to do and they make a tremendous difference in the way that you're going to sleep, in just your seasonal allergies, as well as the way that you look. But if none of that is helpful or it's just not helpful enough, then you can escalate to medication. Topical drops, Patidae is a great drop. The generic version of it is called Olapatidine. It's now available over the counter. You don't even need a prescription for it. And then there's also systemic antihistamines as well. Cold compresses are great, not just for eye bags, but also same for the darkening because it does what we've been talking about. It constricts the blood vessels, just like caffeine does. It's gonna make the blood vessels smaller and it'll also help the eye bag. So you can do a cold spoon if you want. I've seen a lot of people doing that. Some people will throw their jade roller into the freezer and then use that as well. Just that cooling, calming uh, is going to decrease the amount of inflammation and vascular congestion underneath the eyes. Now, of course, you can always use things like cosmetics, concealers, or even eye creams that have what's called optical diffusers. Typically that's titanium oxide that helps reflect the light so that the darkening is not as visible. So that's a very easy thing. It's not 100% natural. You're putting something on your face, but it's relatively natural. It's not a laser or a chemical peel. And now there are also a lot of natural treatments, Ayurvedic medicine that they've talked about for centuries. I am of Indian ethnicity, so Ayurvedic medicine is definitely near and dear to my heart. People have discussed using almond oil, castor oil, um, even using turmeric underneath the eyes for decreasing the inflammation. Turmeric is great because it's a natural antioxidant. The chemical in it is curcumin and it's being used in a lot of rheumatologic disease. It really helps with the inflammatory state. And I think that deserves honestly an entire video dedicated to turmeric and whether or not that helps under eye darkening because there is actually some evidence for curcumin. The other things like almond oil, castor oil, that's all just more online. I wasn't able to find any scientific literature for it, but it really shouldn't do you too much harm. So there you go. Those are my quick tips for natural treatments for under eye darkening. A lot of it's preventative, but there are some things that you can do short of more invasive techniques that can help ameliorate your symptoms. Before you leave, I would love it if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing to this video and letting me know what kind of content you want me to produce so I can make more of the videos that you want to see. Until next time, it was good to see you. I'm Dr. Rupa. Bye-bye.